My name is Kara, and my dream is to move out to Hollywood and become a successful actress. So this is my neighborhood. It's a good place to dream. I am definitely a dreamer. Welcome home! Now we're going to have cameras on us literally 24-7. I'm aware that someone may be watching. I think when you wake up first thing in the morning, you feel kind of like, should I be self-conscious? I thought it was gonna be a lot more intrusive than it actually turned out to be. I'm a very private person. and We're pretty used to living in a house full of cameras. I'm missing. It was her calling. Her calling, her guts. It wasn't about the killing, but it was about the justice and defending rights. To shut me out from the light of the sky, from the sight of the fields and flowers, that I may never again ride with the soldiers or climb the hills. Work on why you wanted to go to war. What was the cause you were fighting? Going to the acting classes is really important because this is really just the very first step. I want to be a great actress. I want to be good at my job. We're going to have you um, slate and stand against the wall. Okay. okay. It's exciting to have my first shot at having a professional role for the first time. So is this what it's like? I mean, Well, no, people are going to take as much time with you as we took with you here. Yes. A lot of time stuff is happening now on tape being sent to the producers. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here with uh, Miss Kara Kilmer, who you guys obviously auditioned this, this weekend, I believe. Kara, it was one of our favorite three that we put up. Kara, frankly, for your first television audition is look really good. You know, they ended up going with someone else. Yeah. They wanted a slightly uh, more sort of character now. The only beat that you really missed was the emotional one. It's only be in the whole thing that you really did. Yeah. All the rest of it you did incredibly well, and you should absolutely continue. This is 100% what you should be doing. You know, I didn't book a role, but I did learn a ton. Even not getting it is a lesson in and of itself. Alex? Alex? He is literally peed on me by taking a leak in my shampoo bottle. Why would you piss in somebody's shampoo bottle? Because I don't like people mess with me and I didn't want to do it, do something blatant to everybody. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you being a dick right now? I'm not being a dick, I just don't like to be with, that's easy, it. Easy, easy. We're, we're all old enough, if you want to say, look, I really don't appreciate it, we'd, we'd stop, I promise. Are you going home? Really? Yep. <laughs> no. I'm pretty down, but I... I have homework to do, and... It's about to get a lot harder for me, at least for a time, without Amanda. I was very even-handed. How can you say that? You're sitting there turning on the tears. I wasn't turning on anything, f you. How dare you? I couldn't you? do that. How, How could dare I? you? Everything depended on perpetuating this myth of talent. Oh. You want to fight? Oh. I'm sorry, Ben. It's okay. All I wanted All from you, you wanted. was respect. How I could dare it. you? How could I do How that? How dare How? you? How, How could I? Talk? Everything depended How? on perpetuating this myth of talent. Oh. You want to hit me? Yes! Oh! Oh! Tom! I'm Kara. Uh, hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. So, Ben, why don't you get ready and uh, present your role. Kara, you want to go first? Yeah, just give us something romantic. Nice kiss. I'm going to go for a ride. This is the great Neil Bag. Nice Such to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Neil has worked with everybody. He uh, put Naomi Watts on the map, America Ferrer, Josh Demel, all these wonderful actors. And so hopefully the two of you. I want you both to call me soon and see if there's a way to find a way to work together. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about how important it is 
um, to continue your education and, and to like really give it your all because I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be in the position that I am having the opportunities that I have without going to school and working really hard. Um, I can't tell you how invaluable it is. Huh? I'm going to act like I can dance. <laughs> prepare for performing this monologue. I'm not the low esteem type that desires to be a blank cushion for any blank executive, okay? You got that down? Yeah. And in some ways, I'm a little hesitant because I feel like in order to be truthful to it, in order to be truthful to the writing, I'm gonna have to go somewhere pretty vulnerable. I am excited slash dreading going there. I'm not one of those low self-esteem type that desires to be a dick cushion for every horny executive that comes in, okay? I, I just wanted to be in the predator's market. We went to the Best Western, did it again and again. Immediately after, I met my now husband. About a year ago, we took the test. I was positive. My husband was negative, and I, I confessed to him about the guy, and he insisted that we, that we track him down. Leonard, Leonard Keller was his name, and he was dead hmm. of AIDS. <laughs> I had the virus. You should be so proud of yourself. What? <laughs> I think it's hard to predict how long it's going to take for us to break into the business. Part of me is completely terrified if if I actually got a job in a major motion picture. I <laughs> kind of feel like, oh, I don't know, no, no, I'm not ready. But uh, on the other hand, part of me just really wants to start doing a job. Wouldn't that be so awesome? It's very surreal. It's kind of it's kind of unbelievable.